Well, Vanderpump Rules is back for its 10th season. I can't even believe it's been 10 seasons. And between multiple relationships ending, fights and tears, the drama is pumped up to a whole new level for everyone, including Sheena Shea and the newly single Raquel Levis. Take a look. Did you see her make out with Peter? Yes, thank you. Thank, okay. thank you. Okay. I don't remember that. I'm dead serious. And uh, she's cried on two of the four days. I, oh like. my God. I'm actually like really loving Raquel just out here in the world finding herself since her breakup with James. It's like, you know, in Forrest Gump, when Forrest is running down that pathway, and as he's running, the leg braces kind of like break off and he just goes. It's like that, but it's like, run, Raquel, run. Run! <laughs> run, Raquel, run! And Raquel and Sheena are with us now. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Hi. How are you both? Good. Good. Happy to be back. I also brought you some lashes from my lash. Oh, okay. Thank you. I yeah. can't wait to try those. I love a good lash moment. Uh, so let's talk about this. Raquel, you are, uh, as we mentioned, you are single now. Yes. How is single life treating you? It's great. I love it. I feel like I've really come into my own, and I'm happy to share it with... I don't know. The world. Season the 10 world. of Vanderpump yeah. Rules. Yeah, so there was, but you, you admitted that there were two out of four dates with Peter that you had cried. Maybe you weren't ready for dating. Well, I feel like Peter was a good person to get back into the dating world with. He was a, nice he was a, a solid shoulder for me to cry on. <laughs> yeah. And um, I feel like I just had to work through a lot of emotions at the time. Yeah. So, yeah, I think now I'm okay. Like, in this dating world, but I am enjoying being single. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to break up, and it's hard, even harder to break up on TV. Yeah. Um, you are not single. Uh, oh. You are getting married this year. Yes. You got married this year yes. on the show. Um, we didn't see it on the show yet, but yet. It's, it's going to be on the show. Do, do you, did you always, do you like sharing weddings on, is this the second time <laughs> I mean, you yeah. got married on the show? I think we do this show to share 100% of our life, not just part of it. So yeah. if that's a part of my life and that's what I'm going through, then yeah, I was so happy to share it. And I'm glad that we did it this way and not the way we were trying to rush it last season. That just was not good. It's probably good that you have help planning it to like more help than you normally would probably. Tell me about you know, it. Like shout out to Shelby, my wedding planner. She yeah. made everything so seamless for me and it was just so fun. It was the most beautiful wedding ah. ever. So romantic. Yeah. 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 Well, I look forward to watching that. Yeah. yeah. And congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Raquel, you also said that uh, we also see you welcome your ex's girlfriend yeah. to the group, which I applaud you for even making the effort to do that in a nice way. Yeah. How do you even handle that? How do you maneuver that whole situation? I think my approach with speaking to Ali was kind of like I in the past with James's exes they would kind of attack me in a way oh, God. so I didn't want to bring that energy to her um, I just wanted to make sure that she's good and she's aware of the things that are happening around her but also be open to hearing her side of the story and seeing her perspective and why she wants to be in this relationship yeah. so I feel like I offered a place of like a judgment-free zone, mm -hmm. and she'll learn the lessons that she needs to learn yeah. through this relationship, yeah. just like I did. Yeah, that's good. That's smart. Um, and Sheena, tensions between you and Katie what? have reached a breaking point. Do you think there's ever a point where you guys can be good again? I hope we can be civil and cordial again for the sake of all of our friends and, you know, the amount of time we have to spend yeah. in the same room. I don't think we'll ever have a friendship again. That ship has sailed yeah. and oh. I'm okay with that. You're okay with it. You've yeah. come to terms with it. hundred percent. She doesn't see the good in me and I don't need to be friends with people who think I'm intentionally a bad person with yeah. malicious intent. That's part of this your life at yeah. this point in your life is weeding out the exactly, exactly. The, the relationships that don't work exactly. for you and aren't healthy. So yes. you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, well Vanderpump Rules airs Wednesdays at nine PM on Bravo. Ladies, thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you.